People across the valley are putting the heat on a band of accused purse snatchers. The women have been caught on camera carrying out the crimes across the state. But most recently, they've been hitting the Central Valley, and more people are now wising up. KPH Fox 26 News reporter Liz Gonzalez tells us where the women were last spotted. And Liz, there appears to be a new member of that crew you were saying? That's right, Monty. We just got some new video out of Dos Palos. This was video from yesterday at a bakery there in Dos Palos. The thing here is that there is apparently one member of the crew now that is apparently pregnant. She wasn't, it wasn't very clear in other videos that we had seen. Uh, the worker at this bakery, by the way, this is the pregnant woman. You can barely see her there because somebody else's shoulders covering her. There you go. Uh, the worker at the bakery says that she just got a really bad feeling in the pit of her stomach when she saw them walked in, and she kept telling herself that she was not going to become the next victim. You can see the four women, including one who's pregnant, walk into Celadon's bakery in Dos Palos Tuesday afternoon. Francisca Sasueta was working behind the counter. She says since they walked in, there was a lot of tension. One way or another, they wanted me to move from here. So Sasueta asked another worker to come help her out front. In a matter of seconds, one of the women pulls him to the other side of the store. The other two try to get Sasueta to move pointing to leather seat cushions high on the wall. But Sasueta refused to move. By this point, there's a woman at the end of the countertop ready to strike. Sasueta would not budge. She called for even more backup in the shop. The women buy household cleaner but continue hovering around the counter. The eldest of the women grows impatient. That's when Sasueta broke it down for her. She says, I told her you're a thief, and the truth is, people like you disgust me. That's when two of the women took off. The other two, including the one who was pregnant, shouts back expletives. They stomp away, denied. And it turns out for the second time Tuesday. Before stopping in Dos Palos, the women stopped by Leticia Sarate's dress and decoration shop in Mendota. Cuando las miré... She says, when I saw them, I got scared, and I thought, oh, my goodness, these are the ladies that are robbing places. She recognized them from videos others shared on social media. They started checking out the special occasions dresses. Ven a dármelo. Tú ven a dármelo. She told me, come and show it to me. I told her I wasn't moving and to get it herself if she wanted it. They got mad and took off. These are the most recent stops in a run that's gone across the state. In January, the women were accused of hitting a donut shop in Isleton, another in Salida. In March, a donut shop in Orange County, a restaurant in Palmdale on the same day. A week later, this decoration shop in Cutler. In May, Ruben's Bakery in Clovis. Last week, a clothing shop in Kermit. There have been a lot of victims, and right now they're just taking purses. Thankfully, no one's been hurt. But what's next? Who are they to try to take it from others, even if it's five or ten bucks? They belong in jail. Again, this is a surveillance video of the women at the different places, again, that we've seen them hit. They've been caught on camera. Almonte, again, the thing that's notable is that one of the women appears to be pregnant. In some cases, it's four women. In some cases, it's just three that walk into the stores. The other thing that I learned today from the clerk there in Dos Palos is that she says that the women speak Spanish, but they speak Spanish with a Central American accent, which is pretty distinct compared to Spanish from Mexico. So that may be another thing for people to keep an ear out for. Liz, it appears uh, because of your stories and those of other media as well as social media, you're succeeding in blowing the cover off of this crew. It may not be long, we hope, before police are able to catch up to these people. Blowing the cover off the crew, but the problem, Monty, is that, again, they continue to hit up a lot of shops and people who may otherwise not be Internet savvy. So if you're at home and if, you know, you happen to have an elder at home, maybe somebody who works at a shop, please let them know to keep an eye out for these women because, again, this is not right what they're doing. They should be ashamed of themselves and they need to be caught. Absolutely. We're also learning the Fresno County Sheriff's Department is looking into claims the women have carried out crimes in even more 